At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Manchester United versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of, playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine, and I'm really looking forward to this one. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea starts in goal. Jadon Sancho plays with Marcus Rashford in the wide positions. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. This attack looks highly promising. But nothing comes of it. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Mwepu. Callister. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Frankie de Jong. Christian Eriksen now. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. an opportunity but really good defending you've got to say Sancho on to Bruno Fernandes De Jong can he put them in front and it was a wonderful chance but the goalkeeper comes through yes Derek we have to give credit to the keeper but surely he should have scored there that's a big big chance Can he deliver it with accuracy? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And over from Ericsson. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Underway in this game, Manchester United at the advantage. Pascal Gross, Enoch Mwepu. It's with Welbeck, Alexis McAllister. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Gross. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. Eriksson. Bruno Fernandes.
Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Second goal for them here. Now Caicedo. Dunk. Good movement. He's given us away. Ericsson. It is to be a throw-in. Joel Feldman. Here's Gross. Caicedo. Welbeck. Now what can they do from here? Despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Eriksson. Bruno Fernandes. Jadon Sancho. Here's Ronaldo. Well, possibilities in the centre. So a throw in here. Caicedo. Welbeck. Pascal Gross. Cucurella. On to Gross. Welbeck. Now what can they do from here? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 32, Christian Eriksen. To be replaced by number 17, Fred. Substitution for Brian Nuova. And over it comes. Joel Feldman. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Alexis McAllister. Ross. Magnificent defending. Over the top towards Rashford. Fred! Keeper did his job to begin with.
Caicedo with it. Neil Mope. Making sure it didn't get past him. Marcus Rashford. Twenty minutes to go. Mope. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Sancho. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Fred. Oh, a superb save. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And there's the delivery. He did his job defensively. Fred. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. We're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Alexis McAllister. Pascal Gross. Could cross it in here. And he stopped them in their tracks. Into the advanced position. A genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Malasia. Here's Ronaldo. And unable to keep possession. Three minutes of added time here. Gross. But really sticking to the task defensively. Rafael Varan. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself.
The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff.